Good morning. My name is Owen Meunier, and welcome to your tour of Upper Canada College. Here at the college, we are a big school with 1,160 kids in total, 410 coming from the prep school, and 750 here in the upper school. 88 of those students are boarding students, representing over 24 countries from around the world. 50% of those kids are coming from different parts of Canada, and 50% from different countries, from Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and even other countries in North America. Here you can see the different um, countries represented with some of our boarding students. So right here we are in the Burnick Family Foyer, which is the main entrance of the upper school. Outside here you can see Massey's Quad, which is basically um, where the two boarding houses meet. So we have Seton's house on one side and then Wed's on the other. I am an, a boarding student from Seton's house. Originally I am from Timmins, but I moved here three years ago to attend Upper Canada College. So UCC was founded in the year 1829, which makes us one of the oldest schools in the country. The founder of UCC is Sir John Colborne, or Lord Seton. His statue is right outside this way, in the middle of Massey's Quad. So now we're gonna take a little look into the school itself. So here's our main corridor, where you could find most classes. Here at Upper Canada College, we follow the Ontario Seconds, um, the, the Ontario, the Ministry of Ontario's curriculum. However, we also do follow the International Baccalaureate's curriculum, which means students who graduate from Upper Canada College receive two diplomas. The IB is a rigorous program that promotes um, all different um, techniques of learning and includes all subjects such as music, math, ex foreign languages, literature, and sciences and humanities. Here is an example of a Harkness Room Table. Now the goal of the Harkness Room Table is to enhance social skills and provide a better space for um, learning, especially for literature courses such as French and English. So moving towards this way, we do have Laidlaw Hall, which is right um, past that door. So right now, since today is Monday, we have an assembly currently going on. Monday assemblies tend to be a, a lot more formal since the principal, Mr. McKinney, runs um, the assembly. Now our principal of the college, Mr. Samuel McKinney, is from Canada, however moved to Australia for a very long time and was a headmaster at a private school in Australia and he just came to the college two years ago. So here, moving this way, I'm Laidlaw Hall, where the whole school meets twice a week. At the beginning of every week, it's a little more relaxed. So during, essentially what happens in assembly, school announcements are made and the principal also, there's, there's usually, there is usually also a song that the entire school stands up and sings. It could be any song. Um, for example, last week we uh, sang Sweet Caroline together in assembly, so it's always a fun time. I personally love assemblies. Maybe we can take, um, take a quick peek in. So all those students in that hall 
out of 750 students in the upper school, plus all the faculty and staff. Everyone goes to this assembly. Um, the whole UCC community meets to um, gather here in the hall twice a week. Okay, so now let's um, move back here to the Student Center or Creativity Center. So right now we're in the Creativity Center where um, students can come to work at any time during the day. As you can probably see, there are a lot of backpacks here right now, but that's only during assemblies. This isn't usually what it looks like, just in case you're asking. So um, here in the Creativity Center, this is one out of the three places where you could come to eat for lunch. I personally come eat here at the Creativity Center every day because I like um, the menu that they offer. For example, they have paninis, um, hot sandwiches, salads, soups, and a lot of other um, good snacks. So moving a little down, here we have the Macintosh Library. Now the library is probably one of the most useful resources at the college. You have to use it for almost every class, and the librarians in the library are so helpful just for any course. Now, the International Baccalaureate, which is one of the diplomas that you get um, at UCC, requires you to write a 4,000 word essay, which is called the Extended Essay. The resources in this library are very beneficial to every single student writing the Extended Essay. If you want to take a quick peek inside, Students can also come here to work during the day and after school. The library closes at 6 p.m. for the day school, and boarders could come back and work during their evening study time, which runs from about 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So here, if we're going to move um, more this way to um, the SAS Fitness Center. The athletics program here at UCC is um, pretty amazing actually. I mean, we have pretty much any sport you could think of. To name a few, during the fall we have football, um, cross country, and during the winter we have many. Hockey, we have basketball, soccer, and squash, pretty much any sport you could think of. And to do all those sports, you need to make sure you're maintaining good fitness, which is why our SAS trainer, Mr. Matthew Verboom, is great at keeping all students in shape. Let's go check it out now. Students could come to the SAS, which, we, which is the fitness center, any day of the week. It is open um, during school hours at any time, and also after school. And then it's open to boarders also at night, after their evening study, which, um, as I said, runs from 7 to 9 p.m. So after 9 p.m., they're more than welcome to come for a workout. Now, the SAS always has adult supervision and um, a trainer in the, um, in the fitness center. In also, trainers are available in um, the SAS in case students need uh, require any sort of assistance. Now here's our trainer himself, Mr. Verboom, who helps all the kids um, here at the college maintain their fitness. So here we have a lot of different types of equipment and um, we're pretty fortunate to have all of this. So now let's move towards um, the let gym. So here at Upper Canada College, in the upper school, we have two gymnasiums. We have the Let Gym, which is right here to my um, right, and then we also have something we call the New Gym. All phys ed classes during the winter are um, ran here in the Let Gym, which is divided in two because it is uh, quite big. And um, for sports as well, we divide our sports um, games between the Let Gym and also the New Gym, which we could see later on in the tour. So now going, um, 
down more to the arts wing of the school. And the, oh, and by the way, we have a beautiful view up here of the CN Tower from Upper Canada College, which you could see. I always love walking by that corridor for that reason. So now if we go towards the arts wing of the school where we have the theater department and the music department is just across that door. And the school does an amazing job at promoting the arts. We, we just this year, we selected arts captains for the school and they help um, keep the arts going and just make them uh, just really do a good job with that um, department. If you're a musician, Upper Canada College is a really good school for you because on top of music classes, we have so many different um, opportunities for music, such as the wind ensemble, a number of choirs and bands. Um, there is a lot to do for music. And for example, the music, um, the band, the people from the band just came back from a trip to Philadelphia not too long ago to participate in some sort of... Um, competition amongst um, independent schools in North America. As you can see along this hallway are the uh, numerous awards that they've won over the years. And it is quite impressive how well they actually do. And they are quite amazing. Now for theater, Upper Canada College usually has three major plays throughout the year. And this is where it all happens, here in the David Chu Theatre. Let's take a look inside. So from what I recall, last year we had the Hamlet um, by Shakespeare that was done here in, this, um, in the David Chu Theatre. And this year, I believe, the boys are working on, um, one of the plays that they're working on out of the three, is um, the Adams family, which is going to be a musical. It's not cut, it's cutting. Now, the year 10 to year 12 theater classes all happen in here. So, now here is the, um, the music rehearsal area. So the music rehearsal area is open to any students who want to come rehearse their instruments throughout the day. And again, boarders can come use this um, area whenever they please to practice their instrument or even um, play the piano or whatever their instrument may be. Here we have one of our music teachers along with um, the numerous instruments that are played here at Upper Canada College. So now, technology. Upper Canada College really loves technology and they really try to incorporate that in the classroom, which is why every student at the school has a laptop, a one-to-one -one kind of idea. And those laptops are used to, um, it's basically used for in-class stuff. It's used it's not necessarily a personal laptop, but you can use it for personal reasons, obviously. But it's mainly for your academics. So up here is the department that makes all of this happen, and it's the Information Technology Department. We also have a couple of technology classes at the school, for example, Computer Science and the Business Technology course, which is quite beneficial for those who eventually want to go get into business. Now, IT generally helps you with any problems with the Wi-Fi or your laptop and are quite helpful for that if ever you run into problems with um, your laptop. Here is a classroom, um, computer science classroom right here. So students will get a laptop for um, 
until basically they graduate from the school. <coughs> so now we're back in the Creativity Center and it looks like assembly just ended. So this way, um, if you look to the right, we have the university counseling offices. Our graduates go, when they graduate from UCC, they go to some of the top schools around the world and most world-renowned universities. For example, some students that I know of have gone to Harvard, London School of Economics, Sorbonne in France, and many other, um, well, like very um, prestigious universities with an amazing reputation. One amazing thing about UCC is that we allocate over $5 million in financial aid to help Canadian families afford UCC. There was a campaign that was done a while ago to help us fundraise for this campaign. And on top of... Um, So now students are going to recess. UCC is probably one of the only high schools in Canada that actually has a recess. So recess is 20 minutes long and it gives the chance to students to go from... And here are some of the paintings that the students are working on which are quite impressive. There is so much detail and hard work put in to these paintings and artwork. The students really do an amazing job at this and get a tremendous amount of support from the teachers. We have three art visual arts teachers that teach um, from year eight to year 12, and they do a pretty good job at guiding students and making um, good artistic choices when it comes to these kinds of projects. Another thing, another um, arts co course that we have at UCC is called film. And the film course helps um, basically students um, film a number of movies that they make themselves. And it's basically project based and it just accumulates. So here is the film room. On the door it says. It's a very interesting class and every student that takes it that I've known absolutely loved the course and we have an amazing teacher who teaches the course who is very knowledgeable and knows a lot about the subject. UCC also found a way to turn arts into technology which is why we have a digital arts class right here. And what they do is work um, on arts through means of a computer, which is quite interesting. We have an open we have an open house this Thursday and Friday, October nineteenth to the twentieth. We encourage all families to come with their sons. Um, the open house, um, you get a tour of the school and you get a lot of information, which is great. Also, the early bird deadline is November the 1st to save $50 on the application fee. So here we have um, the humanities wing, which is basically history, economics, and we do have a couple of English classes on this floor. So recess just started, so there is about another 18 minutes until period two starts again. 
So at the upper school, it's divided into two different groups. We have the intermediate division, which um, is year eight and year nine. And then we also have the senior division, which is, is from year 10 to year 12. This corridor right here is the intermediate division. We have a space, basically that it's just for them. So for the younger guys at the school, have their own um, like corridor, uh, hallways, and their own space to hang out. And these classes are generally only for IDIB students, which is year eight and year nine. Now, I did student. Now, right here is the Center for Learning. The Center for Learning is a great environment for kids to come um, work and to get support for their academics. The staff here is quite helpful and can help kids with anything and everything. For example, Kids who get concussed often have to miss school, um, and they help with that process. And also, they offer things such as exam tutorials to help kids prep for exams, which is quite stressful. And they do a lot of great things for the, for the school to support um, with academics. Also, every year, each student gets their own locker on this floor, um, so they don't have to go back down to the basement um, where their other lockers are, so you keep everything on this floor. So now we're going to go up to the third floor, which is the science and math wing. So for sciences at the school, we have biology, physics, chemistry, environmental systems and society, and kinesiology, which is a quite interesting class. It's to help fit everyone's interest in science, because not everyone is interested in um, the main sciences, which is why we have the um, environment class and other cool classes. For the International Baccalaureate, every student must take at least one course from all the six groups, which I mentioned earlier, which includes math, sciences, humanities, English, foreign language, and elective of their choice. Right here we have the fish tanks, which the science department um, keeps, um, takes care of and tries to keep the tanks as well as the fish healthy throughout the year. And they do uh, quite a great, they do an amazing job with that. So right here you actually get a pretty, a better view of the north side of the city and the Massey squad. So right over there playing hockey is one of the boarding students. And that is one thing that students can do during the recess. They could go shoot a puck or they could um, um, play outside with their friends or even have lunch outside. As you can see, there are tables around the um, quad. So here is one classroom. I believe this is a physics classroom. So let's go take a look inside. So this is a um, senior division physics class and is year 10, year 11, and year 12. So the concept of this class is that there's um, de desks in front, and then these kind of tables are where students can do their labs. So it's divided into two.
So here we have the intermediate division science labs, again, which is year eight, year nine. And then along this hall, we have all our math classes. So towards this way is the math department. We even have a mathematics tutorial room. The math department does a great job at um, supporting students in math. For example, we have a math extra help clinic which runs every day of the week except for Thursdays, before school and during lunch to help kids with homework, prepare for math tests and assignments. I personally use this service a lot. So I think now we get to continue on of our tour and um, go to the upper dining hall. Yeah, for sure. So um, basically at a UCC, like most independent schools, we do have a uniform. So uniforms are, um, there are two. There's the fall dress uniform, which is worn generally from September to mid-November, and then again, from after the spring or March break until the end of the year. Now, that uniform in, includes um, the UCC polo, which has the school crest, which is a blue shirt, and khaki pants with uh, Sperry shoes. And the winter dress is exactly what I'm wearing with um, gray flannel pants, dress shoes, a white or blue shirt, a uh, school tie, and this place right here. And that's what the um, uniform consists of. You could buy the uniform here at the school in our sports shop. And at the beginning of every school year, we have um, a uniform sale. So for financial assistance, um, which I think I believe I mentioned earlier, Upper Canada College did an amazing job with financial assistance. We allocate over $5 million to the program to help Canadian families afford UCC. And this is available for families across Canada. And to inquire more information about the financial assistance program, you could speak to anyone in admissions. So now we're back on the main floor and heading towards the um, dining hall. And this is Ms. McDonnell. Bonjour, our um, theater teacher here at the school. Now I'd like to introduce to you our academic dean of the school, Dr. <laughs> Kinnear, and Hi. she um, makes sure the academic program is at its best here at the college. Hi everybody. Are we all, we're live right now? We are live oh, right now. Exciting. We are live. Great. Mm -hmm. well, where are you headed? We're headed right now to the upper dining hall oh, and towards perfect. the health center. Okay. Let's see what's on for lunch. Yeah, let's see. Bye. Bye, Dr. Kinnear. There are so many people that work here to make Upper Canada College one of the um, best schools in terms of academics in the country. And she was one of the ladies that really helps with this and works with students to help them accomplish their potential here at the school. And this is extremely beneficial with the, um, how rigorous the IB curriculum actually is. 
So our class concepts are quite interesting here at UCC, and the layout of the class is um, really um, different for most schools. For example, here is an example of a French classroom, and it's um, so the, I, a glass just ended here. That's why it's a little bit in rough shape. But usually housekeeping comes and they put everything back where it was supposed to be. And as you can see, we have couches and we even have chairs that move around. And the studies show that boys learn a little different from girls and boys tend to move a lot more and are a little more hyper. And that's why we have these chairs that spin. We have high tables. Um, if kids don't want to sit down because they're tired, they could just stand and do their work standing. And then you can move the tables. If the teacher wants to um, do group work, then you can move the tables so that they're together or individually. And I find the couches are actually quite comfortable too if anyone wants to take a bit of a rest um, halfway through the class, which actually uh, we do have. So classes here are divided into two parts. And halfway through one class, since our periods are generally one hour and a half, 45 minutes after, the teacher usually gives students a five minute break go get water, go get a snack in the lower dining hall, or um, just to do whatever they prefer. Here's today's menu at the upper dining hall. The menu at the upper dining hall changes every day and works on, um, I think it changes by every month. It's a new uh, set of meals. And here is the upper dining hall. And this is the only place to eat at the school, which is open for all three meals and every day throughout the week. From Monday to Sunday, uh, it's open for breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. And this is basically the uh, main, um, for boarding students, this is where they come for most of their meals. Students can come throughout the day to come get a coffee, tea, water, or any sort of refreshment. Hi, Bernadine. Hi. Here's Bernadine. How are you? She'll greet you in the morning <laughs> when you come for breakfast. So now we do have a health center at the school, which we have registered nurses and also a counselor. Um, this, the health center, which is right down that wing, is especially beneficial to boarding students. And in case they feel homesick and want to talk, we have a counselor on the grounds and also nurses in case they're feeling a little under the weather. Now, on that note, you're probably wondering, how does boarding work? Are there teachers there? What is supervision like? Well. We have a number of staff that live here on the campus 24-7. We have um, actually specific houses for them and their families. So there's always 24-7 supervision and boarding. And if considering boarding, your son will be um, assigned a, a senior house advisor who would be like his guardian when he's here in Toronto or Canada. So now we are back in the foyer, and this um, concludes our tour. Is there any other questions? No? Okay, perfect. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Upper Canada College. My name is Owen Menier, and we hope you had a great tour. And we hope to see you at our open house this week, Thursday and Friday, October 19th and the 20th. Thank you.